Right, it's Sunday, we're back out again. It's BBC filming day. We got here early because, well, they don't get here as early as we do, but new area, not done before, and special permission because this is actually a fishing pond, but we've got permission from the owners to do it. Glenn's already finding big stuff, so let's see how we get on. Oh, usual lot, Glenn, Nicola, Steve, Murray, you know. Oh. <laughs> You're feeling it out there? Oh. Getting excited. <laughs> getting a practice in for later, Glenn. <laughs> First row, scaffold. Put a bar, an old wheel trim, push bike rim. Couple more bits of bar. And a really old bit off a gate latch, I think. The hinge bit where the padlock goes through. That's a big old chunky gate that went on. Old bolt and a hinge. Get the scrap collector with half a wheel missing. Oh. Why do you tip it back on the back wheels? Yeah. How the hell did that go through there like that? <laughs> That's Krypton Factor, isn't it? Yeah. Got a show on your camera. Yeah, I'll spin it round. And here we have, oh, there we go. Nice shopping trolley, styled by Glenn. As you see, it's unique, sleek, chrome design and red handle. Got a pound in it? No. No. Oh well, we've got a shopping trolley. What a surprise. Very old BMX handlebars, not much of them left. It's a bit quite bike frame. Okay, bit of bar. I've got a chair as well. My old bits of bar. I bet you never saw that coming, did you? Hmm, don't think that's going to cut much now. It's knuckered. That's a sore, that's a sore point on his mind. You just give a Glenn's. Right, there we go. Got a load of um, old fishing chair that someone's thrown in. 
Yours are on the edge of the table this time, right? Got a handle and a bowl. There you go, centre of a bike wheel. I think I found one of Marie's wigglies. Oh dear. Just in case. No, I wouldn't stand on that bit. <laughs> There we go, Nick, you made it. You're on your own little island. <laughs> you actually look tall on that. So now I've got you with my club. What's it like working? Oh, hello. Oh, what's it like working together? Fun. We have a laugh, don't we? Constantly warning each other up. <laughs> yeah, she has tried to get the elf on a few occasions. <laughs> yeah, elf attack. As you can see, Glenn talks to my camera, although you're not going to hear him because I've got the microphone. As you can see, the elf has broke free from the rope. He's doing a runner. Marie's on a rescue mission at the moment. She's doing well, look. He's holding his head above water. Oh, no. Makes a change, but he's got his head above the water. Doesn't mean anything uh. <laughs> she feels guilty now, look. All them times she's attacked him and now she's trying to rescue him. There he is, look. There we go. I'll bring you in a little bit. You can see. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> Where is he? She's stuck on the branch. Stuck on the branch. Yep. Do you want me to do some shots with the camera looking like you're being interviewed? Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah? Yeah. So, stills or video, you know. Video, yeah. yeah. They can sort of film it off here as well, and then... Yeah, yeah. Let me know, and we'll set it up so you can see the camera and you. Okay, yeah, no problems, thank you. Oh, he's getting closer. He's coming in. Oh, 
Cool, Glenn, your head's very big when it's zoomed. I can see your wrinkles. <laughs> you just want to hit him on the head to flip and brain damage him. If you can get him in the weed like that, more chance of getting him. Yeah, if you can get some weed round it, then. Still looking out. Yeah. <laughs> Breathing deeply. <laughs> He's got hat on. He's <laughs> got He's got hat. Come on, Elfie! Did you lose your own? There we go. He's returned. Oh. There, hang on, let's do, zoom out a bit. Hang on, that's better. I can see you now. Yeah. Cheers, Glenn. Oh. You've saved him. Hang on, let me give him a rub on. He's off that rope. Now, do you really want your He looks quite healthy, you know. Look, there we go. <laughs> he's back. Rescued by the National Health Service. There we go, and he's dripping. Right, let's, he can have a rest now. So I've got the remains of an old bed frame. Okay, double one. I bet the rest of it's in there. That's <laughs> <laughs> Nicholas steering wheel. There's Nicholas. So you think noddy car, think Nicola. Look, there's a little steering wheel from a car. The remains of a motorbike frame. You want that hat on, that? That's the one you need on now, Joel, the captain of our ship. <laughs> Um, end of the day. Uh, what's the next step? Next step is to get all this cleared up, get it loaded on the scrap vehicle and possibly move on somewhere else, who knows? But it's been a good day, out with friends. What, uh, what does it mean to the scrap merchant that's coming to pick it up? Is it worth its, worth its while? Always worthwhile, with scrap prices being high at the moment, scrap man loves a bit of free money. And what sort of headache does it solve for you? Definitely is, because obviously if we leave it here, it's fly tipping. So the idea is get it out, get it picked up. It's good that it's out of the water, stopping rusting, stopping the pollution, and it's good for everybody. Brilliant, thank you. He's a naturally. Oh. <laughs> I still think he'd do well. Like to be anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put a plastic bag in his head. Make change from a paper one. <laughs> Look at her, in my video again, look. Oh, Got a spring yeah, and an exhaust it. downpipe. <laughs> oh. I've got myself a little engine. There's a head off it, but it's a bit corroded and broken, that. Loads of random poles. There we go, I've got my second saw of the day. An old bike saddle.
So, <laughs> apparently Rob's going to be on crime watch. Anyway, so I've got myself a pedal, bit of an exhaust pipe, and the remains of a wheel trim. <laughs> There we go. Got another pedal <laughs> and some more cans, sweet corn and things. There we go. We've got a brake cable, a load of random poles, and a drop link there as well. <laughs> Put some writing on it. So we've got a pole, a tent peg, and a spoon. <laughs> pair of tent bags and more random pole. Excuse the noise in the background, it's Glenn. Excuse the noise in the background, Nigel. <laughs> That's yours as well. Oh, thank you. And that. will be two. We've got that, that's the same between the cows now. That's uh I put I think a couple of jack and a couple of jack. Got Rusty's hair brush as you can see, not many bristles, but that's just right for him. That's a front of the old uh feel like he's not got a very steady hand. BT cash boxes, we think. So it's that. Some random bars. And a pair of balls, because you know how Glenn's accustomed to things like balls, and I've got a pair there that fix together. Glenn, would you like my balls? Thank you very much. Can I have your shiny balls? There we go. Yes, yeah, thank you. No, you can give me shiny balls. Shiny balls. Yeah, got Golden gate balls. Battery clamp as well. And loads of these little discs, like big pennies. I'm glad I'm on a wireless mic with him, he's so loud in the background. <laughs> That's excuse me, they're so loud in the background. <laughs> it's a real bad echo around here, aren't they? <laughs> there we go, got a couple of bottles that came up with a grapple. Canopy off an old push chair. And a, a small end cap off something. Reba White, that's a scrap man. There we go, got a hoop of rebar. What's that? And Nicola pulled out a brake pedal off a motorbike. Correct. The bracket. Mm -hmm. Some of these are tall, and I'm just going to donate them back to the fisherman. Got a side panel off a motorbike, some random bits there. So there's the trolley there, loaded up with the scrap. There's another trolley there, loaded up with scrap, and another one there. So we're all loaded up, and Nicola's cooking dinner. Oh, <laughs> offers, offers. <laughs> hi ho, hi ho. That's going to be the worst bit there. Yep. Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, why? <laughs> Action! Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, so what's the best part of the day? Best part of the day? Dinner. Dinner's always a good part of the day. She looks after us with this, but just being with friends, being out there, doing a bit for the environment, cleaning the waterways up, that's what it's all about. So how frustrating has today been? It's frustrating, but it ain't over yet, so you never know. Sometimes the best things happen at the end of the day. But yeah, it's a little bit frustrating. When you look at the area, research it, you think it's going to be good. And it's not, but that's the way it is, unfortunately. Brilliant. <laughs> We'll all be having a boo. <laughs> 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 I wouldn't surprise me if you gave me a 
I'll have to do a bit of filming now to film Nigel getting out of a car. Back to you soon. Right, so it's been a fun day out with this lovely lady here and this lovely gentleman there. He's only got a little one because he's not grown up yet. <laughs> but um, it's a long story. But it's been a great day filming. They're not very professional because we had to do it loads of times. But apart from that, we, we've had fun. No. <laughs> but no. <laughs> great fun, great sense of humour. We all had a good laugh. They had some curry as well, so I yeah. hope the trip home's not too bad anyway. But, uh, <laughs> but they're off now, and we're going to move and go fishing somewhere else, so we'll catch you in a bit. But Bye. goodbye from these lovely people. <laughs> Comes a bit pole. Like I say, I think they'd be you magnets. Here go. Oh my god, it's dripping everywhere. I got myself a teal. Oh, it's dripping down my arm. But there we go, got a smelly old teal. Cool. 
Oh, why'd you go flat now? Quite an animal then for a while. So I've got the cash register. I've also got the notes box that they have at the teals where they put like the ten pound notes and that in. There we go, a note box. I've got an hook as well. So who opened the window? There you go. It's got a bike saddle. There we go. Got myself a tablet, a Neocore. It's a bit waterlogged. But, yep, got a tablet. I've uh, got a fishing lure. Old nail. Bit of a car call spring, it's broke off. And a bit of bike chain. Yeah, I've got some front door keys. Here we go, I've got a Lynx shower radio. That's different. <laughs> Definitely different. Now as that's a shower radio, theoretically that should be waterproof. So I might actually try and see if I can get that working. I found a shower radio. <laughs> so I've got a brake shoe, set of gears off push bike. I've got a little wheel and some bits of pole. <laughs> and I've got a scooter. The foot plate's missing off it, so it's going to be a bit awkward to ride. And attached to the scooter. It's just green wire. And to this green wire, it's some black wire. Pugh. But there's nothing attached to that. Just a bit of rusty bar. There you go, bit of angle on. Bit of pole. Bit more pole. I look like a handle, like a sack yeah, barrel. Yeah. It's still cold now, now the sun's gone in. Tight. Everyone keeps saying it's lovely round there. Yeah. Bloody ain't round here. <laughs>
Yeah. It's the first time I've pulled a petrol lawnmower. It's been good in its time. It would, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually happy with that. Yeah. That's my best find of the day. Uh -huh. Can I actually say, it's the first time I've had a petrol lawnmower. That's complete. There we go. Time to cut the grass, I think, Nick. Yeah. Let's get on it. <laughs> it's as big as you. <laughs> you want to be careful, you know. Yeah, there's so much <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Gardener Nick. She's multi-talented. Cooks and cuts grass. <laughs> oh, we didn't attract. <laughs> oh, yeah. Rob, do you want me mower? Do you want me petrol mower? <laughs> I think it's flooded. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be... wow. It's got petrol in it still. Yeah. <sighs> we'll set fire to it if it is. There we go, look, it's got the choke. Still working. Got the release lever. <laughs> it's leaking petrol, I think, clock. <laughs> no, oh, no, it's canal water. <laughs> I don't care, I've got a petrol lawnmower. <laughs> right. Thank you. See, look, they nick anything round here. You pull up a petrol mower, look at them go. <laughs> Especially that Rob, that Diffus and Scrappers bloke. You've got to watch him. Definitely got to watch him. Because he doesn't just shift your scrap, he nicks your scrap. If you don't get it on camera quick, it's gone. <laughs> so I've got the remains of a hard drive. And a walking stick. So it's been a fun day out with the BBC. They're very tiring because every time because they're just not very good at it. And it's like, again, again, it wasn't me and that makeup artist. I mean, oh. she spent ages doing my makeup. And the RV didn't even have a working kettle. I mean, what more can I say? But anyway, we had fun with the BBC. <laughs> they came, they ate the curry, they got home with stomach aches, so they're going to have a wonderful evening. But we've had fun. Not the best of finds, but the lawnmower was cool. You know, never found a, a petrol lawnmower before. But usual lot. we got Grandad down there with Little Nick. Look. <laughs> say bye-bye, Grandad. Say bye bye, Nick. Bye. Oh, blimey, that's piercing. Oh. And we have Glenn. Oh, oh you're, a, you're a ray of sunshine. Oh. And we've got Marie, who's just got to have one more go, look. I have one last dip. Yes, and you'll see her on the BBC as well because <laughs> she wanted to be in it. And that was Glenn's voiceover, which was even funnier. <laughs> <laughs> then we have oh, Silver yeah. Fox down there. Look, he's just having a last little last tickle. Ride. But anyway, thank you all for joining. We'll see you on Friday for the live. Don't know what we're going to do, but it could be fun. Who knows? Catch you on the next one. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.